in an odd way, this video is an ultimate failure with a bunch of mini successes kind of sprinkled in. Every trophy in this video was taken while hunting for a diamond antelope jackrabbit and unfortunately, none of those trophies are the diamond rabbit we were after and I had always planned on releasing this video kind of with the diamond rabbit at the end, but unfortunately without a diamond rabbit in sight and with the July montage upcoming, I wanted to get all these kills into a video before the month of July is up. And on that note, we'll get into basically the best of the continued hunt for a diamond jackrabbit. If I'm not mistaken, it's been since release day of this map since we've seen a level 3 pheasant, and we just actually had another one scoot through this opening, so according to the tracks, it's probably going to be in this brush right up here. So we'll kind of run in and try to flush it if that's going to be the case. And unfortunately it is a common, and it is right in here for us, so naturally it's going to want to not flush right away. But if we can get it to take off, and then make a shot like that with the 16 gauge that's going to be our second level 3 pheasant down and i don't know if they can troll but this guy with a lung shot of all things is a pretty good one 2.92 kg and 21.3 score that's a full point above the minimum that's going to be nice for our second pheasant multi mount because we've got a big gray waiting that's just the kind of missing piece there but there's no way to be sure but I certainly cannot imagine that an albino coyote is more common than a diamond jackrabbit, but I'm quite confident that's what we're looking at out there. It is a level two female, and I'm a little bit worried there. Maybe she'll sit there. I don't know if she was behind the hill or not, but it definitely looked a little bit lighter colored to me, and just, <laughs> we're in multiplayer, single player, all over the place, looking for a diamond jackrabbit, and we're killing cool stuff, just, not the thing we're after. That is definitely an albino female coyote, just a 37.1 female, but I don't think we've ever actually had a female one. We've had maybe two males in the past. Pretty neat little kill. We get to see the new texture for them. It used to be a little bit of a, like a brighter white color, but we'll tax that maybe for the second lodge. Unfortunately, no multi mounts can have a female coyote in it at the moment. And the lodge fix eventually may change its first type, I really don't know, but for now, pretty cool little kill on our rabbit hunt. Man, I don't even know, now we have an albino mule deer out here, pretty sure that rack is always a silver, but even still, if we can make that shot, we'll definitely go ahead and try, and it looks like we got into a lung. We shot... I think it was another silver on Parquet right before Rancho's release. Another silver albino, and I don't know that we've ever had a gold one. They kind of redid the textures for the albinos, and I like them better, but I'd like to get a slightly better one for the Trophy Lodge. That said though, an albino is an albino, and this guy is of course a silver, but not a bad shot, and I guess of the silver racks. That's not the worst we could have ended up with, so maybe somewhere in the second trophy lodge we can put that guy. And yet another rare on this hunt for our diamond jackrabbit. It's not like there's been any shortage of these guys. Another level 9 coyote, and I think it's simply too far away and too laggy to take the shot right now. There's so many animals around here on this mountain, and it happens fairly often that it just kind of lowers our frame rate, so while he is there, I think we'll try to scoot down maybe up to the road and see if we can make like a 150 meter shot or something a little more doable. Man, with this lag, I really need him to stand still and alerting him is going to do that. Man, for a second, I thought that other coyote was going to step in front of our shot, but I think we dropped that either into the heart or maybe like lung, liver, stomach. But now we have a forever long run getting over there to him. It, I don't know what this is. It feels like 25 FPS. Finally making our way up to this guy. And for, I think, our fifth level 9 coyote on this map now, we have a huge diamond again at 59.3. We shot a max weight one on the day we got our diamond bobcat. It was 59.4, which is 0.1 below max. Now we have 1.2 below max, and by the way, 
did get that hard shot in there as well. I don't even know what we're going to do with that yet, but nice to have a selection of huge coyotes, I guess. This just keeps on happening. We end up with some kind of javelina to try to take down. It flees from us and then a bobcat spooks it back towards us. I mean, this is yet another common level 5 in single players, so if we can, like, take a shot when he's trotting, I'd be happy to do that. Issue is, I'd be a little hesitant to take the shot at that range. I want him to go, like, to the proper trotting animation and not the kind of slow running one. Sometimes I think backing up can help. That's what I want. That might have been a little bit too high. Like I said, I've gotten his disturbed veg. It's a common again, and I think we have four common diamond javelinas, so I'm not too worried, but that actually is vital blood, somehow, and, oh boy, <laughs> that is a almost messed up max score javelina. By the way, not max weight. We've had a number of max weight trophies from Mancho that were not max score. We finally get a max score that wasn't max weight, but that would have been really bad if we messed that one up. This kind of becomes a bit of a unique case. We've got a level 3 turkey just kind of walking back to us, but right up here beyond him is a rest zone for a max weight estimate rabbit, and I really don't even want to fire the 22 and risk sending that rabbit out of there. It's actually the very spot we killed the max score rabbit in the early access period, so just in case, I want to try to take this turkey out with the bow. At the moment, we don't have the rangefinder sight, and with the wind as it is, I'm thinking maybe 60 meters is going to be doable. I'm going to say that's going to be good enough. So, if we can make this quick before he goes too far, I think that's going to be not only a good shot, but I think a drop shot. I know we've shot turkeys and stuff with the bow before, and sometimes they don't immediately go down, so that's kind of interesting. I do want to walk my way over here, by the way, just in case that rabbit would be kind of close to us. I'm not so sure what plumage type it is, but it is a diamond and a buff, actually, so one that we had, and just a 4.6, but I mean a lung shot at 60 meters with the bow. Can't say I'd have done that on a larger animal, so pretty pleased with that. All of a sudden, our single player map is just spitting out diamond turkeys like it's no big deal, and I'm certainly not complaining, but this is the third level 3 in under 12 hours, and I really do have to wonder about that theory, and by the way, I didn't even record the middle one. It kind of just flew up when I was chasing rabbits, and I figured I'd better shoot it, because if that is a thing, where maybe it could be all species combined, or maybe it's even classes like small game mid-sized game and large game, I have no idea. But if there's anything to, like, say there being several diamond turkeys on my map and that stopping a diamond rabbit from spawning, I'm gonna kill the level 3 turkey and try to get that rabbit. And I gotta say, the amount of rabbits I've killed, it would make me think that there should be a diamond spawn by now. And there just simply has not been one. And maybe, because these diamond turkeys have been in areas that I've not really been, maybe there is something to that, but... There's blood right there. That's pretty far from where we initially shot it, so he must be right up here somewhere. In fact, I ran right by him, but he has a common, so it's going to officially complete our collection of common plumage type diamond turkeys. He is just a 4.6. I think they've all been like right around that 10.3 kg range as well, which is kind of odd. Like that they've all been so close. And I mean, diamond turkeys are common. Usually they are 4.6 and near that range, but. I do find it kind of interesting they've been so close in size, so I don't know. Hard to say, hard to say if that's going to have any effect on our rabbit grind, but as I said, I'm certainly willing to try and take them out in the process. And by the way, a quick note for the turkeys. I was genuinely worried that I did something wrong and had the same one spawn twice, because I'm sure some of you guys noticed the same thing I did. There were two in there that were the buff plumage type. 10.3 kgs and 4.6 score on the harvest screen, but when we open the trophy manager, we can see they were all three different scores. We just happened to have two that were very, very similar. The only main trophy lodge additions were the diamond pheasant in here, along with the gray 19.8 that we've had for a while. 
And then of course the max score javelina over in the other room for that multi-mount. Now, I was trying to decide what to do with the Rio Grande Turkey and I just can't justify taking anything else down. Like, we've got in here, for instance, the two multi-mounts and then an albino Miriam Turkey up here. And I think I just prefer the albino over like a common diamond Rio Grande. We have the other two Rio Grande plumage types there. We might have to either consider another multi-mount or something like that, but there's just nothing in here that I'd rather have the turkey instead of, so for now those are just going to sit in the trophy manager. But we now have, unfortunately still a two common javelina multi-mount, but a 159.5 max score, and also a 152.5 from, I think, release day actually, looking at the date there, so I really do want to get, regardless of the score, another variation whether it's brown or dark gray or just something to go with the max and i think that would be really really cool but for now we're just gonna have the two common diamonds until we can get a diamond of one of those other variations but so much stuff yet we're still missing the diamond antelope jackrabbit so hopefully sometime here in the near future we can get that done but we'll have to see if rancho is going to cooperate but anyway that's going to do it for this video so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time